Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Ayuxin video. And today I'm going to answer your question on how to make this thing work, given that it has huge weak spot on the top, massive lower plate, and seemingly tank that, that cannot play side scraping. In this video, while playing, I'm going to be giving you advice on how to make this thing work. And during this video, you will learn on how to cover the weak spots and get the best out of T125 American Tier 10 Heavy Tank. Mwah! Vole? Mwah! Oh, oh! Is there a better scenery in World of Tanks, guys, other than burning e -bear? Okay, I don't want to be here, honestly. Don't want to deal with the 277. Running torch. <laughs> I'm waiting for event to kick in. How many FVs is sitting there, guys? Your prediction. Unfortunately. One. <laughs> there is there is always somebody. No exceptions. When I say always, it is one hundred percent. I'm just waiting for the thing to kick in. Do you mean on the stream, Agros, or in the game? The event is not 100% really? Oh man. But I need it. I cannot push. Cool down there. Maybe I go back actually. E4 is going to defuse uh, FV. Nice game. Let's go towards the base. I could stay and pre-aim, but let's go towards the base. They want to be here, I would say. Maybe not, because heavies can shoot me. Oh, hello my old good friend. Okay, we're missing FV and the steer V. Let's go back. Yaga is playing aggressive now. We barely lost any HP, which is great. I'm not sure about his reload, but... Oh, bounced a hit. Oh, I really wanted to make Yaga a one-shot. Wow. 
What a sexy tank. Happy? Thank you for request, bro. What a sexy tank, man. I, d I have no desires of picking. We are 7k down. I mean, 5.7. Full HP 60 TP. Arty can hit me, so I would like to get unspotted first. Wait, he's in the open. Wait. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ! In the gunman land. I mean, that's Yaga, man. That's why you play with the Yaga. After all. I don't want to get much closer. Holy shit, bro. <sighs> I would really love to have that... Uh HP No, <laughs> no, man. Ah, oh, but I, I love E5, man. It's perfect. This tank is perfect, man. Ah, it was fun though. It was fun. I wish my team would stay alive for a little bit longer. How is it perfect? I always... I always eat all shells with my cupola. But that's why... Like... So if you, if you analyze my game right now... I went in the position when 277 gets spotted only because my cupola, if I'm driving the tank, is on the left. So I went in the position, like I'm trying to, with this tank, okay, 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 this is, this is easy guide on how to play tanks with the cupola, guys. You go to strat sketch, right? You go here, you, you click word of tanks, and uh, we're going to talk about Ruinberg again. So, my cupola is on the left hand side. Let's let's say that we are playing from this side, so it's a little bit easier to, to imagine, right? My cupola is on the left, so I want to be picking right side corners. And actually, this map is kind of a problem for the E5, because you want to play here, you pick with the cupola. You want to play here, you pick with the cupola. So, if, if E5 is picking with the hull covered and showing only half of the turret, like this, like this is, you're ready to shoot, right? So half of the gun. It is well armored. So your job as a driver is to make sure that the cupola is not even an option. So, uh, when I was picking here against the FV, I wasn't picking like a bot uh, uh, sideways. I turned my turret to the left. That way the spotting point, which is here, as you can see, 
is uh, behind anything that uh, FB can pen. And I checked where he is. And that's how you peek on the corners on the left hand side. So. Shut up and take my money! I literally didn't give them a chance to shoot Obsidian. me the cupola. Hope it makes sense. You, 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 you cover your weak spots. And then you can also cover it with the gun by uh, elevating it a little bit. Like this. If enemies using heat rounds, for example, you can uh, like. So the cupola is here, right? If if you're picking left corner, but because of your great stabilization, you you shoot fast and then you turn your turret and boom, cupola is no longer on the on the way. So yeah, but what makes it like I say it's perfect because it has reliable armor. In the upper plate, like I was speaking with the upper plate against the Leo, right? When he was approaching me. Sadly, I had heat loaded, but uh, like this upper plate is so bouncy. Like if you don't show them your track, obviously. And then uh, if you play hold down, it's still fine. Just don't show them Cupola. And that's why it's so perfect. And gun is mwah. I love it. What is the, our stats on this tank? 4.8 thousand. Could be better. All right. Do you think if I can still fight super conquerors? Watch. It, uh, it can be. I mean, it. Of course, because of the heat rounds mainly. Stay behind on the sniper hill. Like pushing further or. Just sniping like a t tank destroyer? Okay, three of them pushing. I should be totally fine here. Unless they like push push. My cupola is on the like in the, is in the cover. Yeah, yeah, they already stopped. Wow, how did he even see me there? Okay. You see, I want to have heat route loaded, but... Perfect angle, actually. Interesting fight here guys. They are playing aggressive, we are playing somewhat aggressive. Nah they've lost this, no chance. Once this guy is dead I can push forward. Because Conquer cannot play here anymore. Well, I hope it ends first. Kenny Five still fight the Super Conquerors. It's just positioning. Like, if you have a position like this, where the cupola is going to be hidden, be hidden behind the cover. Um. Yeah, it's perfect for you.
I'm gonna finish this guy, we'll have reload and I'm gonna face hug the... And when you face hack with the E5, it's actually difficult to pen. Perhaps not with such a tall tank like Maus, he could pen me in the cupola, I think. But yeah. I might buy this tank again. You will have to be careful because um, like the weak spots of the tank is quite obvious and uh, easy to pen. So you need to do a good job at covering them. But the tank is truly amazing. That was fast. Wow. I did not deserve to miss that. It's okay. 7000, that was fun, that was fun. They were playing aggressive. Uh, but because of my concept and I think Super Conqueror that were hiding behind the thing Like a rubbles, like a bunch of uh, dirt, whatever that is They couldn't really push in and I was in perfect position I think it is a great example on how to play with the E5 If I would, let's just say, the map would be flipped So I would be in exactly the same position but picking with my cupola out Then it would be so difficult like with the E5, the perfect is like you picking like this much for the enemies with the cupola behind the cover and uh, as I was angling uh, my upper plate like this it's uh, quite bouncy if you will pay attention like it's a perfect angle like and even if you look at the turret armor right it's uh, quite insane. Of course, there is like some pixels where you can pen, but if you're not showing them cupola, then uh, you set. Will 100% if I mark be next on main account? No. We have Shrek. We have 277 to mark. We have many things planned. And the next is Super Conquer after all that. So all that what I said and Super Conquer on top. Um, it's 5 Ebro bro. Sounds about right. Okay, I need to go for the easy target, triple seven. I don't just. I'm losing my DPM by looking around. Oh, ah. Uh.
Yo! Linkessi with the 21 dollars! Thank you! Thank you for supporting my charity! Thank you for helping Ukraine, bro! Quite amazing that light tank alive. Uh, the potential here is quite incredible, honestly. Alright. Thank you, I will have a look. I would like to kill the light. I'm running low on heat. This, this game can be 10,000 if uh, I will be hitting my shots. I need to kill them and push forward. Maybe not 10k actually. It might be a little bit too fast. Was a nice fight. Wait, I got spotted. We have guard, maybe... Wait. I think in the bushes in front. Yeah. Why no metal? Because I am not in the platoon. I did not start in the platoon. Therefore, it feels wrong to me. I didn't know that you get XP. Do you get XP for that? I honestly didn't know. Weird looking e bear. Okay, relax, mate. I got killed. Relax. Yes, you get experience. Didn't know about that. Interesting. I'm getting E5 and I'm on M1 and 3. Should I get. The best gun for the 60k experience or straight to E5? Get the gun, because you have to learn how to play the tank. Like, you're gonna use this experience on... Uh, the higher tier tank. It is very hard time Christmas. It's not for marks and games. No, no, no. Honestly, it is amazing time to mark. Because a lot of things grind... A lot of people grinding things. So, um, 
It's it's a it's amazing time. Like a lot of people coming back to the game who didn't play. It's wonderful time. I think they can see my lower plate. Hit gun mantle. So you see how I'm using my uh, upper plate armor against Super Conquer? Like he's playing in disadvantage. shot Conquer can you make up your mind thank you That hurts. Hmm, trying to do fast shots, but most of the time I have enough time to aim. The thing is, if I wouldn't be failing my shots and I kill this guy, I just push here and we are totally fine. But I, I enjoy brawling with this tank uh, a lot. Hello Shatenfe. Thanks for the raid yesterday. How are the games going today? Doing good with the E5 I especially. Doing good. Do you think he overmatched my side, guys? Honestly, the chance of a bounce could have been quite high and I think it's on me because I saw the FE I think it's on me we came for the e and stayed for the E5 <laughs> let's have a look it was AP I know I know I know ah now honestly he would with 300 pen he would pen my uh, side of the turret anyway but I was thinking he overmatched uh, my hole. <laughs> 